Hey all, this is going to be a uh, introduction on using C Sharp to play with the blink stick. If you don't already know what a blink stick is, this is it right here. It's just a little LED controlled USB drive. It's actually really fun, really cool. Um, the first thing you need to do, of course, is install the thing. Um, to install it, you just go to blinkstick.com, just like that. And once you are there, just download it and optionally reboot. You don't need to reboot to do what we're going to do, but if you want to test out and play with the built-in application ahead of time, then you'll have to do the reboot. Um, by default, there's not a ton of support on .NET, which is why I'm writing this. There appears to be a lot better support on uh, Java and Processor and I think Python and a handful of others, but for .NET, there's not a whole lot out there. Um, so once you've got this software installed, this gives you kind of a little demo application. Um, and again, you don't need to use that. I didn't for this one. I've installed it in the past and actually used it though. But once you have it, um, go ahead and create a C Sharp project. I'm using WinForms. Um, and then for this demonstration, I've got a list box named list box one, a turn on button, and a blink button. Um, so these are the things that we're going to need. Um, the next thing you need to do is add a reference. Um, it's going to be blinkstick.hid.dll for hid.dll. Uh, it's in C, in my case, program files x86 blinkstick client dot, uh, is the folder. And then it's right there, blinkstick.hid.dll. Now once you've got that added, go ahead and we're going to go to the turn on button so the first thing we're going to do is just make a real quick and easy turn it on turn it off and all we and we're going to actually do it the kind of cheating way so we're going to do wingstick.hid.abstract Okay, and we're going to do an array of those actually. We're going to name it new hid, and then we're going to populate that by yep, can't get too far ahead of myself. Blink stick device finder dot find devices. So again, this is already in that class, so most of the Hard, hard work's already been done. And of course, you could use JetBrains or some other D, uh, D.netter type thing to read the core of these files, but they read the source code of these files. But they are actually pretty large for as simple as the basic usage of it is. But definitely feel free to go through and read it to get a better idea of what you can do. It's not super complex on its own, but it is definitely useful. Um, and then once we have that, we're going to do a for each. Found. In our new HID. Okay. And then we're going to populate that list box one that we had. Whoops. With our fat, with our keys serial, and we're going to cast that to a string, and then that's it. And actually, you know what? I don't want this in the button. I want to put this in the form load so that we can see it as soon as we start up. Okay, so here we go. I only have one device plugged in right now, so we see it's serial. And of course, as you saw, there's actually a fair amount of things that you can get just right off like that um, so it's not hard at all to do this much um, alright so that is going to be our opening event um, for our load events or for our turn on event let's do this we're going to actually make a change
change color uh, method. This is going to come in a lot more handy later when we get into some of the more fun parts of it. Um, but what we're going to do is, okay, so in this method, we're going to go ahead and reuse this just because we're lazy and we don't want to use individual uh, serial numbers at this time. Obviously, you could, not hard at all, but this is how we're going to do it this time. Um, so for each device that we found, we're going to found dot open device and then we're going to found dot set LED color and we're going to do that with hex color. Okay, and then just to be safe, we're going to close the device. Okay, and then for our button one dot click, what we're going to do is I chose a color already, but I'm going to And if you're not a hex expert, it is really easy to find little hex conversion charts online. Find whatever color you'd ever want. Uh, not a challenge at all to do that. So just throwing that out there that that is a possibility. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start the form. We've got that one device there. And then we're going to turn that device on. It works just like that. Not hard at all. Um, now we're going to see the problem though. I've turned off the device and the device stays on. So what we also need to do is go over to our form properties and create a form closing or an on closing. Okay, so form closing, we're going to do change color again, but this time we're just going to set it to black. And definitely don't forget the pound sign there. Okay. And now when we turn on the vice, nothing's going to happen because it's already on, but when we close it, we're going to see that light actually turn off. Okay. All right. And then I am going to cheat here on one more thing. I am going to make new method called wrong method I'm going to make a new method called 2hex so this is going to be you can pass in an RGB value a RGB value and you'll get back a hex and then right now I've got it so that if it fails it will pass back red no real reason I just decided to do it that way take the easy way out um, and then I've got another method that I want to do, and this is the reason I have both the hex and the simple change color method. But I'm going to do new method for button two, actually, or blink button. And on this one, I'm going to do for uh, an int loop times. And I'm going to do this, nah, let's go 10 times. Okay, and then one more loop in there. This isn't the prettiest code, but it's just to demonstrate one of the fun things that we can do real quick here. Now we're going to say, Let's take I probably should have actually done the math on this one, but let's say let's do two fifty five and I got a feeling this is going to give us some weird stuff. Should have done the math. 
but this is how we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do string new color equals to hex. And it's going to be a system.drawing.color. Okay, and let's do zero on our alpha. We'll do zero. Let's do I here and zero. Okay. Okay, so we're going to basically upgrade, uptick just the green channel of this new color. And then we'll do change color for our new color. And then we'll do a short sleep. Okay, System dot threading dot thread dot sleep. And let's just give it one millisecond. Okay. So what this one is going to do is it's going to loop through and increase make a color more than anything else. Um, the green to make more green on the blink stick and then once it's done we're gonna change color back to essentially off and then it'll loop through again so we'll get a blinking and then that hex to hex method again is real simple we just pass in the RGB and we dot out the red the green and the blue and it passes back the actual hex string value prefaces it with that pound sign so we get a true hex color and then to see it in action load up our form here and we hit our nice little blink button and we should get blink blink three four five six seven eight nine ten and now it's off and then that's it and then of course our turn on still works I don't have a turn off method but you saw how we did the first part of it you've seen how to make the thing blink you've got the hex colors it should be a straightforward process do whatever you want with it now this is actually really fun you can do things like write a script so that when you get an email it fires this off um, if you lose internet connection it'd be really easy to write a little uh, windows hooked to watch for the either the network change or the network disconnect and then fire this up change colors you could have different things different colors for all sorts of different things uh, could tell you a lot just by looking at your tower your laptop wherever it might be if you have any questions want to see me delve into it more try to find an alternate or more interesting things to do with it just let me know as always either leave a comment let me know thanks